Coach, did you uh, start with the opening statement, and then we'll open up for questions for the student athletes? Oh, man, that was a, that was a, a tough game, man. That was a hard-fought game, my guys. I mean, they, they played their butts off. They competed. Um, these guys here, I mean, that second half, they did exactly what we've been talking about. They led by example. Right? No, with no, no rah-rah, nothing but going out there and executing and being the, the veteran team that we are and playing like the veteran players that they did. I mean, it, it was on them. I mean, they, they just competed. We weathered some adversity in the first half. Uh, lost Ezra. Um, you know, just I mean, and it just happens. I mean, I appreciate what Ezra did. He saw his teammate on the floor, and, and he stepped up for him. And, and that's what these guys are about. They stepping up for their brothers, and they did it in a big way by, by really performing in the second half. Question for the student um, Jordan, how did you guys adjust once Ezra got ejected? We kind of just played for each other. We went in the locker room. He was the first person to greet us. He was pretty much sitting, standing right there waiting for us. So we told him we was going to do it for him. We told him we was going to win this game for you. We came out with a chip on our shoulder. Liam got us going early in the second half. Colin Smith got us going the second half, early in the second half. So I just, we wanted to capitalize off that momentum and plan for him. There's the antics at the end of the half. Did that sort of like maybe center you guys so you didn't get too emotional? heading into that second half? For sure. I think that's why our veteran presence, like coaches talked about, kind of showed up there. Uh, we knew we had a lot of game left. 20 minutes is a lot of time to play. Um, they played their best ball, like Coach Dakow said earlier. We played their best ball. We knew we had to come out and fight, and that's what we did. For both of you guys, uh, this was the first game back with students. How big was the crowd and kind of anchoring that comeback and kind of pushing you guys along as you made that run in the early first half? It was big. It was big. I mean, the energy that they brought to the gym was Amazing. It was amazing. One of the best games that I've played here for sure. Um, no doubt. That's why I kind of threw it to them at the end. They were the biggest, big of a reason why we won this game as we were. So just wanted to give them kudos. Thank y'all for coming out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said he said it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, what he said. Yeah. <laughs> you guys knocked down six threes in the second half. And you guys have talked in the past about how big that is for you guys. How important was that just to kind of overcome this team who's been so good defensively throughout the year? Yeah, I mean, it's huge. I mean, we see them working every day. Trey, Studi, Shelby, all of them. You see them after practice working. You see them after even games working. And, you know, they failed tonight, but we expect that. So, obviously, when they come up and play like the you know best shooters in the nation, we think they are, and we know they are. Obviously, it gives us that tremendous lift. Uh, what was the key to the 20-3 um, the, the to run in the second half? Just effort. I, I've said it before. I love this team. We're an extremely well-coached team. Um, we just came out. Knew we had to play our best ball. We executed what Coach Stackhouse drew up on the board, and obviously the result showed up 20 to 3. How do you think you guys were able to finish this one out after some close losses in the last couple? It's that veteran presence. I said it after the Tennessee game. I said, you know, we've fallen short these last two, but we're going to get over this hump. And I, th I think you saw that, you know, every game we're learning, every game we're getting better, and obviously the result showed. Anything else with Sudan? Liam, you know, for you sitting uh, a lot of the first half, then come in in the second half, how important was it for you to, 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 to make your presence felt? You certainly were, uh, made that uh, on both ends of the court. Yeah, obviously, you know, I, I can't come out and play passive. You know, that's not going to help anyone. Um, you know, Coach Stackhouse, Coach Curry, they, you know, they always tell me to work the game, work the game, but I also have to play my game. So I went out there. I wasn't going to change anything because I was in foul trouble. I was going to do what they told me to do, play hard, play aggressive, and, you know, everything else would take care of itself. I feel like what you guys did on the defensive end in the second half really sort of propelled the offense on the other end. It seemed like it was easier for you guys. A absolutely. I mean, I think a huge credit goes to the guy over here, Jordan Wright. I mean, we put him on their best guy all the time. We trust him with everything on defense. When he's, you know, he's guarding their guy, they get flustered, they get out of sorts, and, you know, we're able to get out and transition, run. It all starts with him. He's our leader. He's our catalyst. And, you know, we won because of him. Jordan, um, Anthony Black had 20 points in the first half, only five points in the second half. What was the key to containing him? We just getting into the ball a little more. We changed our defense coverage, made it adjustment. Um, it was great coach by Coach Stackhouse to change that. And we just decided to put a little more pressure on him, make him uncomfortable. He was a little too comfortable in the first half, getting to his spots, making good passes. So I just wanted to get into him, aggravate him a little bit. And I think as the game wore down, he got a little bit tired. Thanks, guys. Good job. Jerry, that first half was very chippy. Uh, how much does it help to have the experience you've got on this roster to keep it under control, dial it back in, and, and focus so much coming into the second half? Yeah, I mean, it's like, you know, you know, Miles is always chippy. I don't know. You know, I don't know. He just needs to 
I don't know if it's, if it's breakfast or what it is, but he, you know, he keeps a little. And, and then Black was, you know, guarding him, and they, you know, they was pushing on each other a little bit. Yeah, man, but it's part of the game, man. I thought we weathered it a little bit. Just got to make sure that we're smart in those situations. Um, you know, I, I, I didn't think it, Ezra should have gotten an, an ejection. I mean, he, he did push. He's coming, you know, to maybe a technical foul, but it's not a situation right there that calls for an ejection, in my opinion. But again, I think it rallied us. Our, our guys, you know, you know, came together, put a big load on Trey um, to, to have to have some extended minutes at the point guard, and um, the, the timeouts helped there. Um, but I just thought we. Um, Tyron, Ty, Tyron was good. I mean, I kept asking those guys that they needed a blow, and they were just like, "No, we're, we're good." So I mean, I stuck with that, with that that core group for for most of the game. Um, probably should have got Liam out a little bit. He probably picked up one or two of the, those tired fouls. Um, but um, but no, it was it, it was a good game, and, and our guys um, they, they competed. That, that's all I you know. That's all we asked them to do. Just come out and compete hard. You know, leave it all out there on both ends, and, and we'll live with the results. And, and you can see what the results are when you know when we do that and um, and, and make a few shots. I mean, that's at the end of the day, you can do all you know do all of the great things. You can be a great teammate. You can be you know whatever, but you got to perform. And, and that's what we had tonight. When you look down our roster, and you get one, two, three, four, five guys in double figures. I mean, that, that's performing, you know, at the right time, um, you know, at a big time level. Um, what did you see on the play where Ezra was ejected? Um, I, I, I didn't really see it. I just saw that uh, he was, um, you know, he. I think he kind of pushed the guy because he, the guy was standing on Q's foot. And you know that's what they told me. I, I hadn't really seen it all yet, but they said that you know he pushed him a little bit. Then somebody pushed him in the back. I was like, where is their technical foul? Where is you know black foul for kind of you know instigating it all? So, but it's that's kind of how it goes. The second guy is always the one that gets hit. So we just got to be smart in that situation. And, and again, just let our, our play and our poise speak for you know for for themselves. This team had been close. Uh, at Missouri, had the halftime lead at Tennessee, and you've got Alabama coming in. How important is it to, to, to one, get this win and hopefully try to now build on this and get some momentum going? Yeah, I'm just thankful there wasn't any goal tens today. You know what I'm saying? That, that might have helped us out a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> we, two, two key ones hurt us in, in those last two games. But, you know, again, like I said, we, there's, there's so many things that, that we have to do to control our own destiny. So it's, it's never about the officials. It's never about, you know, the a call here, a call there. There's things that if we take care of our business that we're, we're real staunch and we're, we're disciplined in what we're doing, then, then we're, we're able to weather a lot. And um, so, but we, we feel that, um, you know, to going on the road against, you know, a couple of top 20 teams and, and giving them all that we could. And now, that, you know, another top 20 team coming here and we take care of our business. Got another one coming in here on Tuesday. Um, we know they're going to be jacked up. Nate's going to be throwing everything at us and we're going to do everything we can to throw everything that, at him. To, to, to try to um, try to win. I mean, you got a talent, talented young player who's, uh, who's one, one, one of the best in the country. So we, we, we got to be prepared, locked in, you know, so, you know, celebrate, enjoy this one for a day or so, and then get back to work and get ready for Tuesday. Well, Arkansas is one of the best defenses in the country. You guys scored 97 points today. Do you credit that to scheme or guys hitting shots or, or what do you see out there? I mean, you know, we, uh, the numbers are can, can be whatever they are. I think teams play different styles. They play different pace, um, and I think our, our, our style and our, our pace um, gives us a chance no matter what uh, or who we're playing. And I just thought when we move the ball and we share the ball and and we make the open looks that we get, we got a you know big post presence that we had with um, with, with Liam today. With him really being assertive and. and, and and doing his job on the post, and then we went to the free throw line and, and then knocked down our free throws. So that, that, that's the way that we can find a way to get 63 points in, in the second half. Um, and like I said, I feel like we're a pretty good defensive team ourselves. Holding them to to, to 42 um, is a pretty good number because because they have some some guys that were capable. I mean, they, they they took the shot, took and made the shots that we wanted them to take. I mean, it was some mid-range twos. Contested twos, they jumped up and made them. Debo Davis got going a little bit late. Black got it going. Um, Council, who hadn't been shooting the three well, of course, he comes in this building and, and, and shoot a little better than he he had um, previously. But again, you, you got to expect that in every SEC game that um, 
it's a, a couple guys that's on the other team that's capable of stepping up and having big games, and then you have to adjust and, 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 and like I said, have performances ourselves. What was the key to containing Anthony Black in the second half? Uh, I thought Jordan did a great job on him. Uh, we, you know, we tried to save Jordan a little bit so he doesn't pick up any cheap fouls guarding those key matchups early on. But we do like to, in that uh, almost at you know the fourth interval, somewhere between ten, you know, to, you know, the last ten minutes of the game, last fifteen minutes of the game, try to use him because he's. I mean, he has you know good hands, good feet, and he just really takes the challenge. And I think that's that was the challenge that. I put forth to to that group that was out there, man. We're, we're older than this team. It's, it's, it's time for our um, our leadership and, and our tenure to start showing up and winning games for us. I mean, as talented as that team is, it's young guys out there. Let our let's 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 show our, our experience, and, and and I thought they did a great job of doing that. After a moment like in the end of the first half, for like the VCU game, it seems your team has always fought back. And I think I actually asked you this after VCU, but now it's a little bit of a different feel. What does that say about your team that they just? come out and play like they did early in the first half and storm back? Yeah, I mean, I think I mean, we play, like, just got to play hard and do it all the time. I mean, it's, it's just about being consistent, uh, you know, having that con competitive fire. The, the best the best teams are, are player-led teams. I mean, we, we've given them the foundation. We've given them the system. They have a total understanding. I don't even have to sit in the film session and all those guys can tell you exactly what we did wrong on a possession because they know our schemes, they know how we do it. Now we just got to go out and do it, got to go out and execute. And, and I think that that's um, on our, our older guys to do that and lead by example. I expect Noah Shelby and I expect Colin Smith and Lee Dort to make mistakes. I don't expect those mistakes to be from guys that have been in our program for three or four years. And that's been happening a little bit. But I think, um, you know, having some heart to heart and having some, some meeting of the minds, um, we, we we got some um, some some great production in in, the, in that department today, and hopefully that's something that can carry on and to propel us to to get to, to you know put a little streak together, you know, get us some separation, and, and show the type of basketball that we're capable of playing. How much do you think the crowd was a factor tonight? Just unbelievable, yeah. unbelievable, unbelievable. That was fun. That was fun. Uh, not just our fans, but uh, all across the the, uh, the memorial today was, was was unbelievable. That that energy, um, our guys felt that, and they feed off of it. And you know, it's it's time. It's time. We appreciate all appreciate appreciate our fan support, and uh, we're looking forward to seeing them back here on Tuesday night. What was the key to Trey's success in the second half? Um, you know, Trey Trey doesn't lose confidence. You know, I mean, shot. You know, come and go sometimes. He had you know, a little bit of a streaky shooter, but I just thought, you know, I think that he had a good rhythm because it wasn't in the sub. He didn't have to look over his shoulder to see if anybody was coming to sub for him. Um, you know, the Ezra was out of the game that he was going to get the bulk of the uh, the primary ball handling. So I just thought he, he found a rhythm. We ran a couple, of, you know, a couple of good sets for him. He got his feet set, and, and he was just aggressive. I think that's the, that's the key for Trey, just to maintain his aggressiveness and, uh, you know, stay behind that three point line. He, he sidestepped and, stepped inside the three-point line. So we, we talked about that at halftime, and he did a good job of responding. At halftime, how do you balance kind of that player-led emotion that, that Jordan and Liam had talked about and trying to recenter everyone in such a chippy game? Well, no, a lot of time that I come in there, they already settled down, man. You know, you know, so I mean, I think it's, you know, we, again, it's, a, it's an older group and an older team. You know, Q and, and Liam and Jordan, I mean, they've already probably said, Anything that I could say to those younger guys just about maintaining their composure, um, you, know, you know, one day we're going to get Miles in that group, you know what I'm saying? So to try to talk about composure and whatnot. But, but he brings something to us, man. He, bring, he brings an edge to us that he's not going to back down. Uh, he gets, it gets a little crazy sometimes, but, but again, we need that. And, and whatever he needs to get, some, get himself going. He hadn't been shooting it well. He saw it go in a couple times a day, made a big shot right before the half. Um, but you know, I, but I thought he guarded well. When he, uh, when you're not scoring and you're not doing what you traditionally do for us, again, yeah, let's let's make sure we're doing other things. And I thought he, he did a good job of, of rebounding and, and playing good defense in the second half. We probably won't talk to you again before Tuesday. What does Brandon Miller do so well for Alabama? Um, you know, it, it does. I mean, he scores the basketball for him. I, mean, I think he's a guy that just I mean, he comes off screens. Um, you know, catch and shoot at that size is hard to, to, to deal with. You know, you got a guy 6'8", six, 6'9", six, um, coming off of screens. He doesn't need a lot of time. Uh, you know, he's a, he's a you know, key, uh, you know, key matchup, you know, 
every, every night. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure that, again, like we, we got guys that we feel that can stay in front of them, but you're going to have to have your hand up. Can't relax because, they, you know, Nate does a good job of running actions that kind of, you know, misdirect you, make you feel like, you know, you fall asleep on him and then all of a sudden he pops into the play at the end. So, uh, we'll be prepared be prepared for that, but more than anything, it's just competing. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to Jordan Wright and, and Brandon Miller. You know what I'm saying? Colin Smith, you know, is going to jump on him early, um, try to buy some time, but then it's going to be uh, uh, Jordan Wright and, and Brandon Miller. Should, should, should be a fun night. Thank you.